Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday, May 9th, and we're getting ready for our deliverance class. We really want to invite you to come and join us and hear what the Lord has been doing for all those who would seek him for freedom. One of the things that the Lord is doing is uh, redeeming our souls. Your your soul is your mind, will, emotions. It's how you think, how you feel. Um, it's where the wounds are. It's where li your life experiences are, etc. And so the Lord is redeeming those things. He is bringing them into a full restoration to where you think like Jesus, where you behave in, in such a way that it's um, more responsive to the way that God would have us to respond with the fruit of the spirit activated in us. And um, so that means he's got to break some bondages and some fears off of us. And he's been talking to me a lot about how the body gets better, healthier as the soul gets healthier. And the reason that there's a soul sickness is because there is a separation between us and our creator. Now, that separation may not be all of us. Maybe there's just a part of us. Maybe there's just one thing left in our lives that just doesn't seem to let go. It just seems to constantly come up and hurt. This is a time where God is touching those places. Um, he's uh, helping us to be healed and delivered from bondages and addictions to behaviors and patterns of emotions that are unhealthy and that keep us from being joyful, that keep us from being free in the Lord and, and keep us bound to things like fear. Um, I, I'm always impressed when I meet somebody who doesn't have fear and doesn't have rejection uh, issues. It's really, it's, it's, it's good to meet people like that uh, because a lot of people are afraid of something uh, and some fears maybe don't hold you back too much you know maybe fear of roaches and so you, you know you just don't like to deal with roaches and maybe you keep yourself far from where there might be roaches but the fear of flying could immobilize you or it could cost you time it could cost you energy um just for an example, uh, fear of heights, it, it's a bondage. It could cost you enjoyment, something you want to go and do, but you can't because you're afraid of heights and whatever fear that might be. There are a lot of phobias that people are afraid of. Um, snakes, maybe you won't go out in the desert hiking because you might run into a snake or a scorpion. You get my point. And those things might seem like small things, but the demonic realm loves to operate with small things and amplify them to make them great big things. Whereas God does things in truth and truth alone. So what he brings forth is his fruit, his truth, his love, his boldness, his sound mind. And he brings that to us. And then he asks us to grow in that. He gives it to us at the at the new birth experience and then we are to grow in those things by operating in faith and conquering the things that cause us to be fearful uh, also pride rejection lots of other emotions that we're reacting out of that we're not even aware of and so tonight we're going to be praying for you we're going i'm going to bring a little teaching on the subject and then we're going to pray we also have a special testimony tonight i'm super excited for you to hear from our friend denise who had deliverance a few weeks ago and uh, a major deliverance it was really a, a beautiful thing to watch god set her and her husband free in this area of their lives and so she's coming to share and um we try to bring testimonies as often as we can because we want you to know that deliverance and healing is the real deal but it also does not have to manifest the way some people have been trained that it has to manifest you know god is sweet and yeah do we cast demons out do they come out sometimes with violence yeah but not all the time uh sometimes people get quietly delivered in our prayer sessions or while we're praying for them other times uh there's just a breakthrough because your mind now understands the mind of god in a particular area so deliverance and healing can come in a lot of ways and um so anyway with that in mind keep that in mind when you come tonight to join us or when you watch us on live we will be live at 6 30 on youtube and on facebook at spirit wind healing ministries and um and here of course in our building so god bless you on your jesus journey hope to meet you if we have not already